those guys to help for one, get a lot of reps, that I'm not repping a one with a one and a two, uh, and then the twos have to go with the twos and the threes. Guys can get more quality reps. Um, and and you, never, you never want guys to say, well, they're saving themselves because they know they're about to get 30 reps in a row. But as an O-lineman mentality, it, Sometimes if you know you're the first string guy and you're the second string guy and you may have to go with the threes, you're probably not going to get the best out of that guy when he knows that. So um, just to be able to have a full on two deep and then as I get into fall camp to have really a three deep plus, you know, is going to be uh, invaluable. Uh, for one, as we get into the scrimmages, different things, if I can get my starting lineup set, uh, you can, you can again, not rest or take care. But there's some, hey, I may only give these guys these certain reps uh, in, in this scrimmage because I want to see these young guys more. I couldn't do that last year. Yeah. I had to I had to rep Yelda and B-Wall and, and Johnny uh, just as, as much and probably repped them too much in fall camp because I had nobody else uh, or didn't just have the depth through injuries or guys banged up that day. Um, so I'm in a much uh, more comfortable position with depth wise but I'm still in a um, edge of my seat. We've got a lot of work to do. Uh, I got a lot of coaching to do. I got a lot of development to do. Because again, I got a lot of young guys that, that haven't played. When, when you look at what you have with guys coming back and you guys added to the table, the biggest thing you want out of this offseason, power, strength, mm -hmm. get stronger up yes. there up front. Absolutely. We, we definitely want to have a little bit more mass, but solid mass, uh, not not just big, big fat guys. And that's what they've done. And coach. Coach uh, Carroll, Coach Brooks, they know kind of the type of lineman I like. They know how they how to train them uh, of what I like, and they've done a great job of, of building that mass, but also making sure we can still move. Um, uh, the biggest thing, you know, it, it, besides just uh, speed, and I, I want to see strain. I want to see finish. I, I want to see guys that are um, that are just busting their tail to the echo of the whistle. Um, and that's that's all of us. That's that's me coaching those guys harder, better, making sure that they are straining. That's them having that that attitude to strain to finish too. Um, and that's it's beyond the the strength and the speed and that. I just want to play with a better attitude. I want to play with that attitude of it don't matter what front they're in, how many are in the box. If we call a run play, man, we need to at least get three or four yards. And that's that's the kind of mentality we need uh, in that room uh, is just that strain to finish mentality. You talk about that strain, and a lot of the criticism last year with this O-line was protecting the quarterback mm -hmm. and not having Ty Story or Connor Nolan or whoever it was back in the pocket mm -hmm. on the ground at the end of the play. Yep. You talk about that strain. How will that play hand in hand with getting better in that area? Yeah, especially you know we talk strain and run game. The strain and pass protection is huge um, because it, most guys are going to be able to mirror you know jam mirror for maybe one two seconds, but it's that three four play breaks down. We're, we're, guys aren't getting open or whatever it is that we've got to strain and keep finishing and mirror those guys and hand fight whatever it takes of keeping ourselves between him and the ball and, and that's really uh, what it takes so the strain to finish it's obviously in run game but in, in pass protection you've got to mirror that guy for a while and we've, we've definitely got to get better at that we've got to get better at uh, uh, making sure that uh, for one our technique's good where we're, we're, we're not missing on guys we're not you know our, we're setting right on the right technique but also we're just straining no matter what it is uh, we're straining for that finish. I want to ask you about recruiting obviously no specifics but how well this staff has been able to recruit and, and a special formula why you feel that you and the rest of your staff have been able to be so successful in a short amount of time. Yeah um, it really is all driven from Coach Morris. I mean, he pushes us every day in, in recruiting. It's uh, you know, it's it's every every day we it's constant rolling. And I think for for us uh, as a as a young staff on on the offensive side of the ball, um, kids relate. And again, I'm only kind of talking about kind of our room, but uh, kids relate. I think well to to uh, Coach Craddock, Coach Step. Obviously, Coach Lonnie's still young, even though we call him kind of the old man. And Coach Trailer's definitely the old man, but. Um, he relates really well to those guys. Co co you know, just talking with Coach Trailer, he's coaching in East Texas. He's dealt with those those kids a lot. He's dealt with kids from all ages. He knows how to talk to them, knows how to deal with them. Coach Step, man, he he's a guy that can build relationships just like that. As soon as you start talking to him, um, 
you're just like, man, I, I, I feel something like a pull to this guy. Uh, so we all have our different styles, and I think our styles meld really well together. And in our room, I feel like we do such a good job of helping each other out. Um, of if you know, if a kid is in Coach Trailer's area, but he's an old lineman, Coach Trailer knows that I'm hitting him up too. If I have a, I know Coach Trailer's hitting him up. If we have a receiver in my area, and Co Coach Step knows I'm hitting him up, he's there's. We do a good job of covering each other's backs, um, but I, I do think. Um, uh, for us, I think we relate well to, to kids, and I think we know. Um, for one, uh, I'm still I'm falling out a little bit of, of the, the fashions and styles and 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 the social media stuff that changes with the wind, <laughs> like uh, and the the songs and the new, you know, memes. The, the memes and the and the, the high like season is S Z N. I I didn't know that for you know different things like that. Sure. I gotta have those G A S help me out, but. <laughs> We still can relate. I, I you know, I, it wasn't long ago. It was only eight years ago, nine years ago that I took the helmet off and the pads off. So um, it wasn't that long ago. So and it goes the same for Coach Craddock and, and Coach Step. I just think we relate well to players. I think we know how to talk to players, uh, especially high school kids. I, I just, uh, I think we have a good rapport with them based on our, our age and, and just uh, I think our energy and, and how well we interact as a staff. They see that it's very genuine. They see that we all love working with each other. It's not just one of those things where it's like, oh, got to go to work with Coach Lunny today. No, I actually enjoy working with Coach Lunny. So I think that's really it for those guys. And 